Adobe has just released Photoshop 2026, and this is the full release. And let's jump in right now. We're gonna have a look at all of the top new features that Adobe's added to Photoshop. A quick mention, big news. Yes, after four years, I have created a new version of my flagship training, Photoshop 2026 for digital photographers. It's here, it's expanded, it's better and bigger than ever. I'll drop a link where you can check it out, plus there's a limited time discount that I'm gonna give you during this launch week. All right, let's look at these new features. So why don't we start by cutting out this dinosaur? So the first new feature is an upgrade to remove background. So both select subject and remove background both get a boost. So whether you're doing local or whether you're doing cloud, you're gonna get a boost and both of them are pretty good. So look at this, we get it into the little nooks and crannies, looking good. I'm gonna combine this into another document. With the move tool, drag up to the tab, and then I'm gonna to move to the middle and release. Okay, that dinosaur is a little big. Control T, that would be Command T on Mac for free transform. We can't see the handles, but if you hit Control Zero, and it would be Command Zero on the Mac, you'll zoom out so you can see those handles. And now we can zoom it down. If I hold the Alt or Option key, we can pop this into the middle. Great, let's put this T-Rex with the moon behind it. Now, as you can see, the problem is the colors, lighting, nothing matches. Next new feature, Harmonize is now in Photoshop. It's out of beta and it's in Photoshop. So if we click Harmonize, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna match the color and the lighting, and it's also gonna create shadows. So let's see how well this works, knowing that the moon is behind the dinosaur. Look at this, shadows in the front, perfect. We get three variations. There's a first variation, second variation, third. I think I like that third variation better. Now, one of the problems when we use Harmonize Notice we're losing a lot of resolution. Comes to the next new feature. If we go under image, we can use generative upscale, but there's something new in here. Yep. We now have Topaz Gigapixel and Topaz Bloom. We'll talk about these a little bit later. These will use premium generative credits. We're gonna use Gigapixel and Right now, we're gonna do it to double size. So it's gonna take us to about 5K, 5.5K. Click Upscale. So this is gonna upscale this and pop it into a new tab. And here we go. And if you look at the details here, look at this. We have brought back a lot of the lost detail. If we zoom in here, see it gets all soft because of the lack of resolution. Here, Topaz has rebuilt this resolution, made it nice and crisp. That is awesome. So what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna bring this into the other document. So we're gonna just grab our topaz layer, go up here, hold down the shift key, release and drop it. Yes, it is twice as big. So we're gonna zoom out, hit control T or command T once again. And just like before, we are going to scale this down. Now I'm gonna zoom in on the corner cause I wanna make sure we're pretty close to matching this. And if you hold the Alt or the Option key, you can do it from the center. So why don't we use the original background, but let's look at this quickly. This is using Harmonize. The, look at the quality, look around the eye, see how it just sharpens up a little bit. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure these are lining up. So I'm just gonna change the blend mode of this to difference. And now I can just use the arrow key to nudge these. And when it gets black or close to it, we know we've got these nicely aligned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the mask from Harmonize, drag it into the top and replace the mask here. And if we hide everything, look at this. We're showing the original background now and we're masking out the version we did in Topaz. So now we've just fixed the resolution problem that we were having with Harmonize. Control A to select the entire image. And we're gonna choose Generative Fill, hit the FI, and we get the models. So in Photoshop General Release now, 2026, 
This was previously in beta, now it's in 2026. We have Flex and Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. We're going to choose the Nano Banana. And we're going to type in and crushed taxi and choose generate. Now Nano Banana is going to maintain the integrity of the image that's there and the dinosaur, but then it's going to add these other elements and generate these. And there we go, look at that. All right, looking pretty good, but the problem is, once again, we've gone into low resolution because we used a Nano Banana. Well, what we can do is we can choose Generative Upscale again. All right, so we're gonna grab Topaz Gigapixel once again, and we're gonna choose Upscale, and this is going to generate a new document, and it should fix the resolution issues in that document. Let's have a look at the before and after. Look at the detail on the taxi, before, after. There's definitely some retouching that needs to be done there. But if we look at our dinosaur, before, after, we've definitely got a lot more detail. Of course, we're over 100%. Let's zoom into 100%. So here we are at 100%. And we look at that before, look at the car, look at the dinosaur, the texture on it, and after, much better. Last new feature I'm going to show you right now, it's going to be an adjustment layer. And that's going to be color and vibrance. So this used to just be vibrance with saturation and vibrance on there. Now they've added temperature and tint, which enables us to fix the white balance issues. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it here. I'm going to cool it down quite a bit. And there we go. We've got a pretty good cinematic look there. So those are the new features added to the full release of Photoshop 2026. Now, I've already done some tutorials on many of those in beta and gone in depth. So check out the written steps at photoshopcafe.com where I'm going to create links there to the in-depth video on each of these features. Now, throughout the next week, I'm also going to be releasing some other videos where we go more in-depth into some of these features as well. So lots of stuff to check out. Let me know in the comments underneath what is your favorite new feature? And if you're new to the cafe, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.